Yeah, good animation. That kind of animation. Okay. I make that one. That is my animation I make. That is yours? Yeah, that's me. I don't use a camera, so basically it's just me. Yeah, but it's good. This is good. Thanks so much, bro. Yeah, this is good. So tell 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 my followers what you want them to do right now um, to watching the video. I'm asking if you guys can support me please with the like and subscribe. Even though it's bad or good, I'm still trying my best. Hope you guys can support me. Mm. Hey, what's good everybody? Thank you for checking me out. So I'm currently, yes, I'm in Cape Town, South Africa. I'm enjoying myself. And we are about to go on the Robin Island. And I met this rapper here in Cape Town. So he was like, hey. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a rapper, I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. I'm like, okay, I'm doing the same. I'm also trying to build my YouTube channel. I will urge you, man, just subscribe to this younger brother's YouTube channel and let's build this together. I'm facing facts. All my life is coming last. Struggling where I am, I'm, I'm trying to be a better man. If I don't succeed, do I got a second chance to get cash, to put it right into my pants? I got no problem, I gotta leave. Why? Poverty is something that I don't wanna see. Take it from me, no cap. Straight. So, yeah. Echo, echo, echo city. Okay. Mm. Hey, uh, we are going to the Rubin Island now, where the they prison of Nelson Mandela, you know, where he was kept. Yeah, we are going to uh, have the experience uh, and see how the place is like. The Thank you. Zone. So welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Echo Simpson. I'm very happy here because I came with my family, the big family right here. You know. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Alright, and today, this is the third day we've been in Cape Town, South Africa, and we want to tour the Robin Island where uh, Nelson Mandela Madiba was imprisoned. So enjoy this tour as we move on. This is one of the events you would like to partake when you come to South Africa, um, Cape Town. What you will experience today will be truly unforgettable. Today, we are proud to be traveling on the Protoa. This boat carries the name of an important woman in the history of our country. As a girl, she was an interpreter between the Dutch and the coin. She lived on Robben Island as the post holder's wife only to return there as the first woman political prisoner. She died on Robben Island in 1674. Please relax and pay attention as we take you on this special journey. For some of you, being on a boat in the ocean is a new experience. It is natural to feel a bit nervous, but our crew is here to make you feel comfortable. If you're feeling sick or nauseous, please make use of the sea sickness bag at your disposal. Yeah. 
All right, so um, after the safety precautions or measures have been shared with the uh, people in the boat, you are allowed to come out. So I had to come out and experience, you know, the whole thing from within the boat outside, looking at the beautiful uh, sea. I think this is the uh, Indian Ocean. This is the Atlantic. Okay, so we are on the Atlantic Ocean, going to Robin Island. safely arrived at the Robin Island we're gonna go inside and have the experience so we spent about uh, let's say 30 minutes was it like 30 minutes two hours no from from the yeah, show yeah, like like, yeah. like 30 minutes so we're gonna go inside and experience exactly what happened and I'll bring you more stay tuned to leave the boat we're gonna let everybody sitting downstairs leave the boat first and then I'll come to you to direct you how to leave this area row by row. Thank you. Thank you. Row by row. Row by row. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. You are going this way. just got off from the boat and we walk in towards where the island is there are a bunch of people here a lot of people here I love how tourism in South Africa is taking effect I mean all the plans that they have all the strategies the system that they put in place to have a smooth uh, tourism you know uh, events happening here so wonderful Welcome to Robin Island. My name is Ken. Yeah? I will be conducting the first part of the tour, which is a drive around the island doing sightseeing. Making few stops, and one of the stops will include us taking some minutes off the bus. But once we are done with the bus tour, then we take you to prison. That's where you'll be doing your prison time. <laughs> sure, you all look forward to that. And when you are done with your prison time, we will not be there to bring you back to the harbor. You will be doing the long walk to Trigo, which is not that long really. Just about the same distance you covered coming from the ferry to the buses. But we understand that you surely would like to have some moments on your own, perhaps go to exhibitions, you know, maybe take pictures around. That's where you get a chance to do that. Prisoners to stone quarries to go and dig up stones. Then same prisoners were supervised by professionals when they used that stone to build the prison you are visiting after the bus stop and many other buildings they built to that store, which includes, of course, these uh, harbor buildings and those walls over there and the building further to our right-hand side. Now, that building to our right-hand side, it is the visitor center where prisoners received their visits on this island. Now, on this island, each prisoner has graves that are found on this part of this island. They take us back to one of many times in our history as human beings. 
you know, when the world was strict and hard by the disease known as leprosy. Yes, Robin Allen was once a leper colony. It was established by Irish missionaries who came down here to assist with those who suffered from leprosy. Hence, the site is still known as the Irish town. But about the years, we have prison class and we have family members as residents of the island. Large families were occupying big houses while single class were staying in single dormitories. Yes, this day you have heard that we are in of Robin Island. And the thicker the cloud gets, the stronger the southern wind becomes. But at this moment, it's a clear sign of that which convinces me that many of us would like to take pictures of it. Maybe of ourselves with a view. You know, it's not everywhere in the world you get such a view. Eh? So get that in your mind. So, what do we do, ladies and gentlemen, like the other bus is doing, is to take a short break off the bus just here on the corner. Now, many more buses may come in whilst we're here. You're a good driver. Sharp. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. Before what? <laughs> People start tripping in. Alright. We're currently here at the Robben Island Museum. Uh, we drove about, say, 15 minutes in between the prison, you know, and uh, the story from the tour guide called Kente. I took a picture with him, I'll show you. It was beautiful. I love how he, you know, narrated everything. I mean, the story about uh, this Suboki. I really want to go back and read about it and he also told me about he told us about the book that were was like a mandatory book for every black South African to to have a copy and at some point they will budge into people's houses asking them to show their books and all that I mean it's it's amazing the story that I, I, I heard from here number five uh, Yo, let's, let's take a picture and go okay so that is where the name for this island comes from. It is actually Sills Island, translating from Dutch to English. The closest part of the mainland to this island is to our right hand side. There. That is an area known as Blowback Strand, meaning Blue Mountain Beach. Still over 10 minutes drive of the town to Blowback Strand. But from Robben Island to Blowback Strand, you're looking at 7.2 kilometers. types of birds as well as bugs and other species. The interrogation section, the dark section. This section over there where all the Namibian political prisoners were held under the leadership of Toivo and Toivo. They were not allowed to interact with us. We also had EFF 
and G. Further down there, this is where our kitchen was located. It was a nice experience coming through Robben Island, learning about Nelson Mandela and the other uh, historians and the other freedom fighters who were kept here for many years. Um, I've learned a lot. I think that if, if you have the opportunity to travel to South Africa, I think you should add the visit to Robben Island as one of your uh, tour site you will learn you pretty much learn a lot so that is our tour guide he's max uh he was also in prison here for five years five years uh trying to fight for freedom for uh the black south africans uh, i learned a lot of history i think i need to go back and then read more hey wait for me ah. <laughs> hey, Uh, one quick word. You've gone through the Robin Island. Yes. Uh, as an African, you heard the story, uh, the apartheid. I mean, the uh, the heroes who were trying to fight for the black South Africans. What can you make so far of this visit? I guess this is a, a great experience for me as an African. I mean, a young one. And, uh, gives us motivation ne never to give up and also it is as well here and um, the resiliency of our forefathers has guaranteed our survival today so we are very happy to learn this history and uh, we believe that together we are saying that never again should we allow ourselves to um, have such evil perpetrators to have their way and uh, we believe that they serve as a motivation for us in moving forward as an African youth to never to give up, continue to fight and also to build our continent together. Beautiful. There's another question that I want to ask you. Do you yeah. think that um, slavery is still ongoing? Yes. I mean, we may not see the shackles and the chains. Yes, yes. There's several forms of uh, modern day slavery going on, mental slavery. Mm -hmm. child trafficking, prostitution, economic slavery, uh, the system in place mm -hmm. that perpetually enslaves um, Africa economic prospects. And I believe a time is coming that Africa, we need to come together as one people, mm -hmm. harness our resources together and build our continent. It's a time that if Ghana, we need something in South Africa, has it. we need to import it from south africa instead of importing it from the west the time is coming that if south africa needs something and ghana has it they need to get it from yeah. the free continent uh, african trade which has its quarters in ghana need to be the new beacon for africa development the new beacon for africa economic emancipation right yeah thank you very much yes yeah so at the end of the day we've had some few opinions from uh, brothers here and i want to say thank you south africa thank you um cape town i've enjoyed myself it was good this he is our tour guide it was very good at you know 
telling us the story and everything. So, hey, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure when you come to South Africa, you visit Robben Island. Mama wang twala nine months, say sweetie nine months, say sweetie. Oh oh oh, 